आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन इज ऑक्सो प्रोसेस इज सिंपली कार्बोनाइलेशन और हाइड्रोफोमाइलेशन रिएक्शन यूज कोबाल कार्बोनाइल हाइड्राइड बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट एंड बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर इन करेक्ट ओके सो आउट ऑफ ऑल दीज फॉर ऑप्शन वी नीड टू डेल विच वन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर ऑक्सो प्रोसेस राइट सो वॉट इज ऑक्सो प्रोसेस ऑक्सो प्रोसेस इज बेसिक इट इज इट इज अ प्रोसेस विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज which is also known as hydroformylation process okay oxo process is a process which is also known as hydroformylation process in this okay this is an industrial process for the production of aldehydes from the alkenes it is the industrial process for the production of aldehydes from the alkenes right it is the process industrial process for the preparation of aldehydes from alkenes all right so what happens in this reaction simply carbonylation takes place or you can say hydrophile form this is a this reaction for the conversion of alkenes into aldehydes is known as hydroformylation reaction or also known as oxo process okay so if you see in this reaction uh, what we use is in this reaction we we take a uh, we take let's say we take an example of an alkene that is this meh double bond ch2 okay this is nothing but our propene right me is nothing but ch3 methyl group okay so this so what we do is we treat alkene with carbon monoxide right hco and hydrogen gas h2 in the presence of a catalyst which is nothing but co2 co8 which co8 okay this is known as octa carbonyl octa because eight carbonyl co groups are there in the uh, in the structure it is like this okay let me write this here again it is co this is cobalt okay it is two times and this is carbonyl group carbon co okay it is eight so this is octa carbonyl dicobalt okay this is the complex which is used here as a catalyst for the conversion of this alkene into an aldehyde okay with an additional carbon with an additional carbon here you can see only 1 2 3 3 carbon atoms are here here you will get as a product you will get four carbon atoms like this this is your me ch2 ch2 and CH O okay when this product is formed and also this product can be formed that means M E C H C H O and here C H three okay so these two products will be formed one aldehyde group will be attached on this carbon as you can see here and another one will be attached. here okay so these two products we can get so here we use this co2 this is a cobalt complex this is a catalyst which we are using as uh, this is a cobalt complex which we are using as a catalyst to form this aldehyde all right and here this one product will is going to be the major product this product is going to be the major product okay and this is minor all right so this is major and this is minor now in the process what happens is when this gets getting converted into this that is your major product so what happens here is that this co2 co8 that is your catalyst first get gets converted into one of its hydride complex that is this h co co 4 okay this complex is a this co2 co8 breaks and forms this complex which is known as cobalt carbonyl hydride complex okay and then this co this uh, is going this is used for the conversion of this into this okay but that happens in the process okay which is known as oxo process all right but initially what we use is co2 co8 it gets converted into this and then it is 
it is used in the uh, conversion of an alkene to the aldehyde okay so this is the answer so if you see the options here so the first option says oxo process is simply carbonylation or hydroformylation reaction yes i told you it is the conversion of alkene into aldehyde so yes this is an hydroformylation reaction so a statement is correct statement okay now let's see the next one use cobalt carbonyl hydride coh co hole for so yes we use uh, carbonyl hydride uh, complex here of cobalt hco co4 which is also written in the option as you can see coh co4 okay this is the same complex so yes this is this complex is used in the reaction in this process so this statement is also correct right but if the third option says both statements are correct a and b so yes a and b both are correct so your correct answer is c the next uh, d option says both statements are incorrect no this is in, uh, this is wrong why because a and b both statements are correct so your correct answer will be c i hope you understood thank you so much क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेकर नीट आई आई टी जे मेन्स और एडवांस के लेवल तक 10 मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर